Movies and TV shows are actually made. Right around the corner here is Hill Valley from Back to the Future. This is actually one of the most frequently used sets here on the back lot. It's known as Courthouse Square. If this place seems familiar, it is. You can see it by revisiting the screen classic To Kill a Mockingbird. Over the years, countless commercials, TV shows, and feature films have included scenes shot on this same location. One of the most recent and popular is Steven Spielberg's mega hit, Back to the Future. We're standing here on Courthouse Square where Back to the Future was uh, photographed. And we actually had a, a situation where we had to create two different time zones. And one was uh, present day, and the other one was going back 30 years. We landed up coming in and aging down the uh, sets, changing some of the facades, uh, changing some of the signs. And we actually came back in here and tore out all this grass that you see behind me, and came in and asphalted over it for the, fi uh, for the present day shots. Universal's art department staff includes hundreds of behind-the-scenes experts who actually do the making in making movies. As an art director, what you're trying to do is tell the story visually, as well as the actors telling the story in words and in action. So if you land up leaving a piece here and a piece there out of it, it's like the actor uh, leaving a couple of ands and ors and buts out. Pretty soon, um, it doesn't start making sense. These are the details that come to the movie makers behind the cameras. Pieces of wood, buckets of paint, rolls of wallpaper, and skills of every sort. Well, I'm giving character to a, a set. Very few sets actually go to stage. And actually, with the paint that we originally do on them, we have to age and make, give them character and make them look like real life. Not only does modern movie magic mean being able to make fiction look real, it also means being able to make anything the fiction writers can dream up. The art director can separate the fantasy from the reality as far as we're concerned. Here in the mill, we take what they've got, what they need, and we prefab mostly parts for sets. We don't have a whole lot of lead time. If they wanted it tomorrow, they say, I'll ask for it tomorrow. Winston Churchill's famous line, give us the tools and we will finish the job, fits this giant mill to a T. This place has every tool the most dedicated craftsman could ever want including some you won't find in any hardware store. You've heard of word processors, but have you ever heard of a sign processor? These keys are just another key to movie magic. Signage plays an important part in the making of motion pictures and television here at the studio. Janine's fashions that you see in front of you landed up being Harry's Hardware Store two weeks ago, and the cutlery store was a florist a month prior to that. Signs actually bring life to a set and actually create that magic that real life has really come into the scene. To see why the phrase, a sign of the times, might have been invented by movie makers, take another look at Hill Valley in Back to the Future. In this scene, signs not only tell us lots of what's and where's, they also tell us when. Of course, there are other things in this picture that add to our understanding that we're watching a scene from a particular time. If these cars look pretty as a picture, it's no wonder. They're picture cars, the term that describes any car featured in a moving picture. Like everything else in the world of screen entertainment, picture cars require all kinds of planning and attention. They have to be from the right era, of course, and in the right condition. For cars that are really non-existent, uh, sometimes we have to go out and create a vehicle that, uh, that doesn't currently exist, such as this one that was used in Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox. It was originally a DeLorean that's had quite a bit of modification, as you can see. The car is actually a running vehicle that's still drivable, even though it may not be street legal. Jesse Sperry helps make sure all the picture cars at Universal look just the way you'd expect them to, or not expect them to in some instances. 